여러분 안녕하세요. 저는 조수입니다. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. See you. Before para tayo mag-start, may mga itatanong muna ako. Kung may mga na-react, may mga nakaligtaan ba akong reaction video or may mga hindi ako nagawa na reaction video, please comment down below para masurat ko sila sa line-up ko. Opo. So, for today's video, may bagong upload si Kuya Casual. Kuya Casual Choke. Noong June 3, di ba wala ito? Pasensya na ako, di ba? Sobrang, sobrang busy natin. So ngayon, panunuarin ko yung SB19 Story Episode 4, Monsters. Haters will enjoy. Let's go. Previously on SB19 Story. SB19 are gonna be big stars. They have charismatic, they're hardworking. But my prediction is they're going to break out in a huge way this year. So take that for what it's worth, ATM. The guy who predicted their success was the same guy who indirectly called them cheaters. This tweet didn't drop any names, but this was posted around the time when SB19 got the number one spot on MTV's most requested artists for 21 weeks in a row. This was against much bigger artists, so it was clear which fandom he was talking about. This was only one of the many obstacles they had to overcome, because after all these years, they turned out to be... Ooh, monsters! Do somebody run down? Might not look like it, but SB19 are people too. They have social media and they see yeah. everything. Yeah. So it only makes sense that some of this hate has gotten into them. I feel like I'm never enough. Baga, parang feeling ko unfit. Ito yung concert nila. Wala din ako dun kasi eh. Minsan hindi lang naman yung mga tao sa paligid ko yung kalaban ko eh. Sarili ko pa dun. Siguro masabi ko hanggang ngayon. Nandun pa rin siya. Tapos hindi ko pa rin siya natakala. Ano ah? Ewa siya yung nila siya. Ano siya nabi lagi ko? Hindi ko pa inaw. Kung para kaya. At ibibigay ko na kasi. The best na yan sa ano. Bakit? Bakit? Grabe no? Ang dami nilang doubt sa sarili nila. Ang dami nilang pinagdadaanan. Pero tingnan niyo yung success nila ngayon. Kasi sa kabila nung meron silang doubt sa sarili nila, mismo ka, sa inner nila, ginagawa pa din nila yung best nila para ma-achieve yung gusto nila ma-achieve. I mean, why can't people just embody this mantra? And that brings us back to this moment. Yeah, that's Pablo. If you're new here, you're probably wondering how he ended up there. Practice, pa. nito. Kumalat yung picture na ganito yung suot ni Paul. Ito ata din yun. Sobrang nakakutan talaga ako sa kanya. Just kidding. I will tell the next chapter this time, okay? This was the time when Pablo decided not to be silent anymore. SB19 dropped the Pagsibol EP and one of the songs takes a shot against those haters. The lyric video itself screams a lot of shutting. We mga ganon pala don. Di ko alam. The doubt, the conceptualization is on a different level. Hindi ko na pansin. Just take a look at this guy. This character literally resembled all five members, and the person behind it and all other mind blowing concepts is Justin. He didn't just come up with these creative concepts. He built them from scratch and oftentimes even used frame-by-frame animation. 
He's a guy who knew what he wants, like a monster hiding behind a beautiful face. Yes. <laughs> Tama, oh my gosh. And we all knew about the song that produced the most iconic rap line in Peepa. Josh gave it so much justice that it made us forget about his other talents in handling interviews. So what do you think is the difference between Filipino boy groups and you guys? Well, we couldn't say that we are really better than them because we respect them. Finance, music, gaming, yes, and the sir. world of dance. The dude is a legend in the K-pop dance cover industry along with Stell in Sayon. Even before SB19, Josh was already a monster. Yes. This brings us to another song from the EP. My favorite part was the imitation of the monster's laugh. Ako din. Actually, halos at ato sa atin favorite yung part na Solid. This was done by none other than the monster vocalist himself. Stell. He's just one of the best singers I've ever heard in my life because of his versatility. Mamaw. As in mamaw talaga. I mean, only a monster gets called out by a friend to do a freestyle vocal run and ends up making an epic song intro. You won't believe it. Yeah. Sasabihin ko pa lang sana itong part na ito. Grabe. Nangingilawot pa din ako. Ilang beses natin napanood ito. Ilang beses natin nakita itong mga video na ito. Pero nangingilawot pa din ako pag nakikita ko ito. At naririnig. People also tend to forget his ability to sing in lower notes. Ah, Alam niyo ba, nang isang araw, napanood ko yung video nila na sobrang tagal na, tapos naaalala ko ni reaction, gumawa pa ko ng reaction video doon. Naluluha ako, friend. Yung napanood ko lang kasi narealize ko, oh my gosh, parang nakakamiss yung SP19. Kasi nabisi ako, di ba? Nakakamiss. Tapos ako nga pala, ganda ba niya. Kaya basta ayun, madrama lang ako. <laughs> Speaking of forgotten talents, who would dare forget his ability to dance and teach it at the same time? Yes, sir. The man single-handedly choreographed almost all of SB19's amazing Tama. dance routines. If that isn't a monster to you, then I don't know what is. <laughs> Enter the oldest song on the list. One of my favorites. This is the song that saved us from virtually everything in the midst of the pandemic. It saved us from boredom, sorrow, anxiety, burnout, homesickness, depression, you name it. My favorite part of the song is the first verse done by Ken. It makes you feel like you want to cry, but you're happy. You know what I mean? This should be joy. <laughs> effortless in setting up the mood. But when it comes to his talents, he's in no mood to be joking. Yes, sir. This guy has a voice that sounds like he came straight from the underworld. <laughs> can literally do everything from singing, rapping, dancing, CEO <laughs> writing, producing, entrepreneurship, drawing, shooting balls, playing, to fight. Sheesh, that's a monster right there. Now let's move on to the song that was written out of a laundry routine. Remember the time now when we are doing our laundry? <laughs> Nagluluto tayo, tas tabi ni Pablo. Uh, ano gusto niya sabihin sa parents niya? Kasi ay... You heard it right, it's Mapa. Imagine, di ba? Alam mo yung nandun sila sa stage na naglalaba ka lang, pero bakit nakaisip ka lang kanta? Kung hindi pa sila talented, anong 
tawag doon? Ano tawag doon? Oh my gosh. Ako hindi ko mamaiisip yun. Iniisipin ko pa rin lalaba ako. Kailangan ko matapos na ako. <laughs> Pero sila nagluluto, naglalaba. Grabe. Grabe yung dedication and yung talent nila. Ayun yung pagiging artistic nila. Kumagana pa din. Habang gumagawa sila ng gawa yung bahay. This song broke the hearts of many people all over the world, yes. including mine. This easily became their best song ever because it's very relatable. It Grabe, naalala ko. Diba, um, gumagawa ko nung mga interviews or nag-aas ako sa mga random. Tapos, tatanang ko sila kung saan nila nakilala yung SB19 and madalas ang sagot nila doon is Papa. Ilalagay ko rin yung mga video para you can watch it later. Pays tribute to our loving parents and gives thanks to them for Music all the sacrifices they made for us. The impact was so immense that it was sung in many different languages. Mama, it's been a while I miss you. What you've been doing, can I call you? I hope you miss me too. Hamisha, <laughs> The melody takes me back to this unforgettable moment. Everyone's family showed up except for Kat. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ang sarap siguro sa feeling. Or sa obarang sa yan again. Nung nandun na yung parents niya, nanonood ng live sa kanya nung concert niya. This moment was so precious because Ken never expected his family to show up. This made Mapa even more special because it was performed by SB19 together with their families. And behind this universal anthem is the mind of a genius himself. The monster yes, in the sir. center of it all, oh. Pablo. If you have noticed, his name is all over every SB19 song we know. Some people say he's got the Midas touch because every song he made was an instant hit. I mean, just listen to how clever the lyrics are in SLMT. <laughs> He managed to thank us by using our fandom. Grabe, diba? Kaya sobrang, sobrang, sobrang hangang-hangang talaga ako sa SB19. Patikipaw yung mga pinagago o yung mga napoproduce nila na kanta. Pwede ka gagawa na. <laughs> mga napoproduce nila na kanta, solid yung lalim ng message. At the same time, magigets mo din agad kung ano yung pinaghihiwati niya. His language without making it sound cringe. And he's not even done. He has so many unreleased bangers that are just waiting to be unleashed. As a group, SB19 earned the infamous nickname, Live Monsters. It's because they move and sound even better with live. Yes, exactly. I'm 
Wala na panood to! This is one of the main reasons why they- Woo! May bago lang blue ocean wave. They have a fast growing and dedicated fan base. They garnered a lot of support that they managed to reach the global music scene. This category is fan voted because music is all about the fans. Now let's get into it. This year's 2021 finalists are the girls from the Black Pink. Oh. Boys from BTS, BTS Black Pink, of course. We have Queen Ariana Grande. Yes. We have good boys just like me representing SB19. Let's do this. And the Marvel Silky. Congrats to all of the amazing finalists. You can vote for your favorite beginning, May 10th. Now, let's go back to the studio. Yeah. 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 Josh couldn't believe it. He couldn't hold his tears because finally, he took a step on yeah. their quest for world domination. I want to dedicate the stream to our friends, SB19. Oh. So again, congratulations to them for being a finalist in the Billboard Music Awards Top Social Artist Song. I'm so proud. But despite all the accolades, we can't deny that some people, even P-Punk fans, still doubt them. So let me show you something to shut them up. This is the chart of the most viewed P-pop boy group MVs in the first 24 hours. Mm. I intentionally didn't put SB19 there because if I did, may mas nasabi na Abakit? Their songs easily occupy the upper half percentile by a large margin. Oh this begs the question: Are they just too far ahead of the game, or are they just? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go to the I'm sorry. Sencha na ha. Nadadala lang ako. sa pag-create ng ganito ulit na episode. Grabe, grabe yung mga effort na ginagawa nyo. Sana makita ko na sila ng personal collab, gano'n. <laughs> so, ayun. That is it for today's video. Sobrang nakaka-proud yung SB19. Sarap balikan, diba? Kahit nang tagal mo ng fan. Pero pagka pinabalikan mo yung pinagdaanan nila and yung success nila, Ang sarap sa puso na nakikita yung gano'n. Do you have any suggestions kung ano yung mga next na gusto nyo reaction video ko? Just comment down below. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel and keep the notification bell down below. And also guys, on your next one. Bye!